Hello and welcome back to Income Strategies, the place where you learn the skills to make money, to multiply your money, and to manage your money. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to our Unveiling Cryptocurrency Arbitrage series. Yeah, we're on episode four. That's it. So today we'll be talking about centralized and decentralized arbitrages. So I'm going to explain to you what is an what is a centralized arbitra- a centralized exchange, right? So don't forget a centralized exchange and there are a decentralized exchange. So what makes, you know, these two different, right? So a centralized exchange is like a middleman, it's like an intermediary between a buyer and a seller and they make money, you know, from um, commissions and and transaction fees, just like the way we have Binance, we have KuCoin, we have Huobi, we have Bybit, we have all of those kind of ones that where you go to buy, but you're going to have to, you're, you're like um, buying through an intermediary, right? So they have all these coins, just like the way Binance is, you can see all of these you want to buy, right? You're going to have to buy either through the spot trading section or through, you know, uh, the coin distance, all of these things, right? You can buy through the, um, can buy by, you know, put it in your USDT and then changing it to any of these ones. Yeah. But they make what? Transaction fees. They get commissions. So that's the difference. So now a decentralized exchange is like a direct purchase. I mean, it's a place where you can, where you can actually buy directly from peer to peer, right? You can buy directly. You don't need an intermediary, right? So, so the main thing you need is to, for, for them to have like, um, what's it called now, um, a liquidity pool, yeah, where people can go there directly. You can go by yourself and buy using the exchange or swapping in the liquidity pool. For example, you know, PancakeSwap, Uniswap, and things like that. Those are the decentralized exchanges. So this particular arbitrage is kind of like you're taking a little bit, you're buying from, you know, the centralized and you're selling, you know, in the decentralized or swapping in the decentralized. So there's an example I'm going to be sharing with you today. Hopefully, probably I'll be able to do a live trade. Let's see. (laughs) This is risky business, right? Because when it comes to anything that is decentralized, you know, you you know, it's on the blockchain and it's, it's kind of not as regulated, you know, so anything can happen. Anything can happen. And most of the time you're dealing with projects and smart contracts and things like that. Anything can happen. So I just thought, well, let me see if I could just, you know, risk $10, <laughs> risk $10 at least. I don't want to even risk $20 for this, but I just want to check it out because I have not tried this out before. I've heard about it, you know, I've watched videos about it, but I just said, well, let me just try it out. I mean, I'm explaining to you arbitrage and you guys love live arbitrages, right? So <laughs> I was just thinking, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So we're going to be, this is a, a, a centralized exchange, okay, Binance. And then we're going to be using a decentralized exchange, right, to carry this trade out. And then we're also, at some point, also going to use another, uh, what would I call it now? Yeah, another platform. Another wallet, you know, trust wallet to carry out this entire thing. So it's a combination of centralized exchange, decentralized exchange, and your decentralized wallet. So let's see how this goes. So one, two, go. Let's go ahead. So first off, right, the name of this particular token that we'll be working with is called Ramp DeFi. Okay. So, um, and they have their own um What's it called now? They have their own website where you can be purchased, but we're just going to go through the process together. So let's start out with simulations, okay? So first off, we will need to buy, or would I, yes, we're going to buy or transfer, right, USDT, but the BEP20 uh, USDT. That's what we're going to use for this RAMP DeFi um, arbitrage, okay? So first off, we're going to have to have that. So let's, as you know, like I said, I'll, I'm only going to risk 10 USDT. I'm not doing anything more than that. All right. So someone can be here and say, why can't you try at $100? Excuse me. You can go ahead, do your own research. Let me give you the, disclaim- the disclaimer. Please, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for educational and, you know, entertainment purposes only. So if it works out, fine. If it doesn't, well, it's my It's my risk, okay? So in some cases you win some, in some cases you lose. So in this case, let's go ahead and do this. So first off is that we need to transfer USDT, BEP20, 
20. Yeah. So, and then we go over, let's go and see this in trust wallet. So this is one of my wallets, right? Um, uh, because you're going to need two things. You're going to need two tokens to do this. In fact, what am I saying? Three tokens. Okay. To do all of this, you will need to have USDT BEP 20. Okay. Then you're also going to need some little BNB smart chain. I have like about 23 cents worth of that. So that should work. Just let's leave that for now. Okay. So there's 23 cents worth of it in here. I had that I've le left over at some point because the price, oh, let me go back in there. Sorry. So the price, right? Now it was even less than that. The price of BNB has gone up. So that's good. So we have 23 cents there. Then we're also going to have to buy the ramp DeFi token. So first of all, we need to add the ramp DeFi token here because I don't have it. Like I said, I haven't done this before. I don't even have it here, right? To check all the tokens, I don't even have the ramp DeFi token. So how do you do that? First off, we need to click on these two lines on top here, and then we'll click on that. And then we're going to um, look out for the ramp here, ramp. Um, like I said, I'm doing this for the first time. Please don't criticize me. I'm just learning just like the way you must have watched these videos. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So this is the ramp D5. We're going to choose the BEP, not the ERC20, but the BEP20 version. We'll just toggle it on and then we'll see it added to our lists. As you can see here, we have currency now that is added. So it's actually like um, five cents in terms of the amount. You can see I have totally zero ramp here right so we've added it okay to this place so next off is that we want to go to uh what do they call it now um pancake swap so i've already connected this right you're supposed to be on the bmb smart chain you need to connect your wallet i've already connected my wallet so you can see here defaultly you would see bmb and you will see cake so right now we have the i'm going to put the ramp up here as you can see that I've put ramp up here and then you can always select it if you don't have ramp there or you just have to just click on the drop down arrow and then type in ramp and then you'll be able to see the ramp. Okay. And the USDT because it's the USDT version. So let's even see how much, you know, if I want to, let's say I want to buy like hundred dollars worth of uh, ramp. Let's say I want to buy it from here, for instance. So let's put in that hundred. Okay, it's not, no, that's not what we're supposed to do. Okay, we're supposed to, uh -huh, 100. Okay, so $100 will give you what? 1,763 ramp. Okay, so that's what they have here. But what we're going to be doing here is actually going to be the opposite. We're actually going to be selling the ramp. So first of all, we need to go over to the ramp website as you can see here it's called rampdefy.org okay and then you select buy usd all right so it's the usd that we're going to buy the usd the ramp usd that we are buying we're buying the ramp itself okay but well, that's how they put it so you can see here it says become a ramp holder you pay if we pay 100 let me put 100 dollars I'm not, but let me put ten dollars. The ten dollars I mean I intend to buy. So if I put ten dollars here, can you see? We're gonna have three o two eleven forty eight. Okay. So now we're gonna have what three o two point eleven. Okay. So that's what it is. So um, I'll, I'll come back here and try to do all the connects of the wallet. But I just wanted to show you. So we have three o two. Point eleven. So that's if we buy from here. But if we now take this, I want to swap it in um, Pancake Swap. Okay, what will we have? So let me come here and um, delete all of this. So now what we want to do is that we want to swap. So don't forget. Let's go and check. What did we get? We got three o two point eleven. Okay, three o two point eleven. Let's put that here. Three o two. Okay, three o two point eleven. Okay, remember. Okay, what's going on? Okay, so it says that we will get seventeen point four four seven. Mm, interesting. That is what it is telling us. That in fact, let me take a screenshot. As you can see now, if we buy. 
$10 worth of Ramp DeFi on their website, okay, we will get, <laughs> we will get 17. Hmm. Now, what percentage is this? Is this not 70%? Does it not look like 70%? I mean, what, what am I looking at here? Let's look at the calculations together. It's 70%, right? Am I, am I correct? So if I take 10 times 70%, that means I'm going to make like $7. Do you think this is realistic? Do you think this will work? Hmm. Okay. Let's try, let's try it out. I don't know. I don't know. We're here. So let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing we need to do is that first of all, we need to transfer the $10. Okay. So for me to transfer the $10, simply, I have to first of all, go to my trust wallet. And what do I do? I come over here and copy the deposit you know, because I want to receive it, right? So I'm going to copy the deposit address. Okay, so this is it. Okay, this is it. That's BEP20. It has to be BEP20 so that we don't lose our money. So receive. All right, so then um, we're going to have to copy that. Let's copy it. That's the address. Then we go over to our Binance. And all we just have to do is to send we're going to withdraw it so we're going to have like about maybe 30 cents of withdrawal fee so let me go ahead and put usdt okay so usdt here will just um take ten dollars all right so let's take ten dollars where's ten dollars we're doing we're doing ten dollars but first of all the address we need to paste it okay the network it should show up by itself. So that's BEP. See, can you see the the um, transfer fee is 29 cents. That's just say 30 cents. Okay. And then the amount is supposed to be $10. Okay, I have to add that 10.3. Okay. Hmm. Let's even just, should we make it 10.5? Just for sake of having a little bit more, let me just put 10.4. Okay, so what I'm going to have there will be 10.11, just for the sake of, I don't even know why I'm doing that. <laughs> I don't just think I want to get it stuck for any reason. So let's just, I mean, I know that this will definitely go over to Trust Wallets, you know. So you can see here, um, and then we'll just move it on, and then we click on Withdraw. So, it wants us to make sure everything is correct. Let's see. And then I'm just going to confirm. Okay. I think it's trying to uh, arrange. All right. So, let me do all my verifications and I'll be back. So, all right. It's on its way. So, let's go and check in Trust Wallet. Okay, so let's see how long this takes. I don't know. Let's just refresh and see how long it takes. Okay, it hasn't arrived yet, so we are just waiting. Okay, <laughs> we are waiting for it. All right, let's just go ahead and wait for it. Oh, it's here. <laughs> it is here. <laughs> I didn't even see it. It's here already. I was going to say, I'll be back. And now it's already here. <laughs> so you can see here that we've got 10.11 USDT. So the next thing we're going to do, in fact, my heart is beating as I'm about to take this step right now, but let's go ahead and do it because this is risky. I'm telling you, I mean, this money could get stuck. All right. This money could get stuck on this, on this platform. But if I don't do it, how do you know? right you don't know because a lot of people will just show you simulations and they wouldn't carry out the trade so let's go ahead and do this what's the worst that can happen the worst that can happen is that this money gets stuck the best that can happen is that we get our 70 our seven dollars <laughs> isn't that not so let's go ahead and do this so let me refresh this one more time so that we're sure that everything is still intact 
because we will definitely have to connect our wallets with this okay we'll definitely have to connect our wallets so let's go ahead and do this let me click on buy usd all right so and then we'll go ahead and get this done so we come here i said become a ramp holder okay and then i put in ten dollars i'm only putting in ten dollars okay let's put in ten dollars it's saying 303 mm, all right so it says i should connect my wallet i hope i don't know what they're going to be asking me hmm are they going to be asking me something else well let's wait and see let's connect our wallets because right. don't forget we have uh like 23 cents okay so i hope it's not going to take us more than mm, not going to take too much from us to trust wallet let's connect it let's connect our trust wallet i'm waiting for it come on let's move why isn't it going i don't know okay should i try metamask it's not even gonna go anyway let me connect it again i don't know why it's not going why isn't it connecting okay let me just try to buy or is it telling me that the amount i want to buy is too small i don't know did it tell me there's anything so i just refreshed right now again because i wasn't sure what was going on so let's click on what we want to pay with which is usdt and then let's put in ten dollars okay or should i put them even see whether it's going to oh now i'm seeing okay now i'm seeing something here ten dollars is too small now look at it right now the buy button just arrived mm -hmm. let me see if i change this to 20 would it allow me okay so i'm sorry people i just saw that <laughs> i just sent my money here <laughs> on a rendezvous and just you know play playground right because right now I can't let me see if, what the minimum will be oh the minimum should be hundred dollars I can see that any amount below hundred dollars the buy button will not come up okay as you can see here any any amount below hundred dollars the buy button will not come up <laughs> oh my gosh can you see what I'm saying this is risky business right so now you can see that i can't even do this trade i can't even do this trade oh my gosh i just wasted 29 cents sending sending this ten dollars okay ten dollars forty cents ten dollars forty cents okay so that means i can't do this trade i'm sorry i'm not willing to risk anything more than ten dollars i didn't even notice that i can't even buy any i mean there's nothing in this place that says the minimum you can buy is hundred dollars maybe okay what happened was that i just saw that you know i mean if you look at it there was a placeholder of hundred dollars maybe i just thought that was just for like okay if that's the amount you want to buy but now i can't even put in any amount of my choice so obviously this is not doable for me because i'm not going to risk anything more than ten dollars but i mean i've shown you the process so this is actually you know a centralized exchange plus a decentralized exchange <laughs> arbitrage just in case you want to try this out right you would need to have hundred dollars to get this started okay now I, there's no way i can prove that this is legit i can't i was planning to i was planning to risk ten dollars for you guys but right now i ain't gonna go ahead and put hundred dollars here no i'm not gonna do that right because this is a risk. I could get my money lost, okay? So but anyway, but the main point of this video is to show you that these kind of things exist. If you're interested in going, I mean, you can see it here. Let's do $100 again. Let's just do the simulation again, just for those of you that may be interested in knowing what to do. So if I, let's say I clicked on buy, right? That means I will have to connect my wallet, okay? Let me just see if I can go ahead and do that. 
okay so you can see what's going on here i'll have to connect my wallet and then it will put in everything here and i will continue now of course don't forget i don't have up to 100 usdc so it's not going to the trade is not going to process you can see it's already told me that i have insufficient heather so obviously it's not going to go so that means and the, the um what's it called the transaction fee for this is 22 cents okay so what it means is that you know you're going to use hundred dollars and then you are now going to use okay what am i saying here the transaction fee is 20 cents so you can see right now that everything now is 100.22 they're going to use for this okay so once you have bought this okay so that just i'm just going to continue with simulation right now because this was supposed to be a live trade okay actually i have done a live trade i have sent ten dollars ten dollars forty cents already you can see i sent my money on this journey but somehow i didn't notice that the minimum i can do this trade with is hundred dollars so that's the reason why we can't complete it but i have to complete it with simulation for you so hundred dollars right now 100.22 so we'll do all the calculations together and now see what the profit is supposed to be okay so once this goes obviously this is not I, there's no way i can go ahead with this so let me go ahead and remove this now this, let's assume that this was hundred dollars that we've already bought it so eventually the money will now turn to ramp the money will turn to the ramp token so we'll now have the hundred dollars worth of the ram token that will be here so going back to this place what we would have would be three thousand and thirty point three zero uh, ramp usdt okay that's what we're going to have three thousand and thirty point thirty so we have thirty 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 okay so let's use that so well, let's go back into uh, what's it called now trust wallet so back in trust wallet assumed you've already bought right then we'll go over to pancake swap and we'll just complete the rest of it right so that means you come here and in this place all you just have to do is you remove everything all right so that will be 30 30 that's 3030.30 okay so that's supposed to give us what that's supposed to give us that it populates uh what's that supposed to give us it's trying to load okay so it's gonna give us 172 dollars okay that means that over the hundred dollars you would make 72 so we have 172.06 right then as you swap it you're going to get that 172.06 in your trust wallet that's what you're going to get so now if we calculate that what is that supposed to be so if i go back to my calculator that means that it's still 70 is 72 percent because if i have so what would have that be that would be 100 don't forget 100 dollars plus there was a 22 cents there's also going to be a transaction fee wow i should have checked let me go back to pan quick swap because there's going to be uh, uh there's going to be what's it called now a transaction fee it's going to show us here the transaction fee is going to be 13.86 ramp i don't know what that is in dollars uh, what would that be i don't know like maybe 20 cents because it's showing us that it's going to be one okay it's going to be this what you're going to get what you're going to get is 171.2 so that's going to help me know 171.2 like about 80 cents so that means let's even take it that, you know, the um, transaction fee is like about 80 cents. So let's go and calculate all of these things, right? So that we can know what exactly is our, our bill. So don't forget that to send, it was 29 cents. That's 0.29. Then, uh, no, that, yes, plus 0.22, right? Remember, 29 cents to send from... Binance into trans into into trust wallet okay then we have the 22 cents to actually buy the ramp okay then to swap it is going to be what 0.80 cents so really what we're spending on this um they're going to be spending 101 dollars 31 cents okay so let's say you now make 171.2 right that's going to be what minus 171 Point two. That means you make like 
69.89, that's a whole lot. That's like 69%, it, almost 70% profit. I really like to hear from you guys. Have you tried this out before? Have you tried it? Have you tried this out before? Please, if you're interested, I've just shown you the way to go about it. Try it out. Or if you feel they're scam, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'd like to know. Thankfully, I haven't even sent my money on assignments and it's still safe in Trust Wallet, which is good. Okay. So I hope you've learned something from here. Okay. I hope you've learned something from here. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've learned. I hope you've learned. I hope you learned. <laughs> I hope you've learned something. Okay. So this is an example of a centralized and decentralized exchange arbitrage. Okay. And in this case, it's most times it's supposed to sound lucrative. So what are the pros and cons? Now, the pros obviously is it's like it's really profitable, right? Look at it. 70 like 70% 70 profit. Can you just imagine that? 70% profit. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But what's the cons? It's risky because you cannot tell whether the platform you're buying from is legit. You can't tell. And one of the ways you can tell if the platform is legit, and I want to go check, is to go to Trust Wallet. So I'm going to Trust Wallet right now just to check whether it's actually, you know, legit. So let's put in the company here. It's rampdefi.org. Ramp, let's put it here, ramp. Oops, sorry. Ramp, defi.org. I hope it's this one, .org. Let's see what they say. Wow. They said it's poor, rampdefi.org. They say it's poor. Wow, wow. I was scammed of my hard-earned money. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wanted to join the said arbitrage bot. Wanted to join the said arbitrage bot. Give a thought. Give a thought to check on Trustpilot Review. You guys have saved me from being defrauded. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this site is a scam. They will take away your coin and you won't receive any. They talk about arbitrage and is it? <laughs> this is the result. It's risky business, dears. It's risky business. I put in $100 and nothing came back. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord, for saving me from this scam. <laughs> Anyways, this is just real. I'm just showing you as it is, okay? Now, it doesn't mean that this this could probably be paid, you know, people. But, I mean, I wouldn't think, I mean, for paid reviews, they will come and give you five star, right? They'll give you five star, they'll give you four star, probably three stars. That's paid. But look at it, they're telling you this is a scam site. So, I hope I've been able to convince you and not confuse you that it's better to be safe than sorry. Well, I thankfully I've sent my 10 USDT to say uh, <laughs> in this into the safety of Trust Wallet. Well, that's it. I hope you've learned something. Please let me know your thoughts. And if you're interested in learning more about coin arbitrage, which is my absolute favorite, please click the link in the description and you'll be chatting with me. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you on the next edition where we'll be talking about launchpad and coin listing arbitrage. All right, see you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.